Hi everyone, welcome back. In this episode, I'm going to be getting some pets, thanks to a lovely suggestion from Saranjit Sort. Sorry if I butchered your name. So the first thing we're going to do is build a pet house. You'll need two weed stem, one acorn shell, four mushroom pieces and two crow feathers for that. Find somewhere to put it. And then once you've built that, if you use it, you should get a tip saying share special treats with wild bugs for a chance to befriend them. So what special treats is it talking about? Well, if you head to your grinder, you'll notice you have plant slurry, mushroom slurry and spoiled meat slurry. So this is what you need to use to tame your pets. The plant slurry is for aphids, the mushroom slurry is for weevils and the spoiled meat slurry is for nuts. So let's collect some resources to make that. You'll need plant fiber for the plant slurry, mushrooms for the mushroom slurry, and Those sadly like you'll need spoiled meat for see. the spoiled meat slurry, which means you're gonna have to kill your potential future pets. And after a day or two you'll have some spoiled meat which you can turn into spoiled meat slurry with the grinder. So let's get some of the materials on. We'll start with the mushroom slurry. It does take a while, so in the meantime, let's build a couple more houses for our pets and put them in a better place as well. There we go. So I think our slurry should be ready now. Let's grab that and head to the oak tree because there's quite a lot of aphids and weevils running around here. So once you've spotted an aphid, drop some plant slurry on the floor. You probably want to drop at least three, if not more. And then make sure you stand way back because if you get too close, they'll get spooked. He was eating it no problem, so I thought I was far enough back but then suddenly he got spooked and ran away. But as that happened, a weevil walked past, so I thought I'll switch to the mushroom slurry and try and get a weevil instead. So I tried to get in front of him and drop the mushroom slurry, but he wasn't having any of it. So I went back to my aphid and he had actually come back to finish it. So I made sure to stand well back and once he had finished it, we got him as a pet. So I went over to try and pet him and I'm not sure if it's because he was just still finishing his plant slurry but he ran away um, and then he kind of came back but then kept getting spooked and every time I tried to get close to him he was running away. So I wasn't really sure what was going on, but eventually he did stand still long enough for me to pet him. So now that we had the aphid, I wanted to move on to the weevil. And the best place to find weevils is near my old house. Well, I think house is a bit of a stretch. The dirt road that I used to sleep on. Near the baseball. There's always a lot of weevils around there. So I went there and I dropped some slurry. Weevils don't get spooked so you don't really have to stand back. Uh, but they kept eating it and not being tamed. So I was quite confused. I wasn't really sure what I was doing wrong. I did try multiple attempts without success. But then I thought maybe if there's two of them eating it, one of them isn't getting enough to be tamed. So I better make sure that only one eats at a time. Obviously that murder put him off his food. But then this guy came along who didn't witness the murder. He was quite happy to eat, but even he didn't stick around very long. Then it hit me that my aphid was still with me, so I thought maybe you can't tame another pet when your first pet is still with you. So I went home, I made him a little fire helm. I went to equip it and I realized that he was still stuck on the edge of the pond. So I equipped his helmet and to get him back, I withdrew the pet from the house and then deposited him again and he was back in the house. So with my aphid safely tucked away at home, I came back to tame a weevil. 
No messing around this time. I dropped five mushroom slurries there. And I stood back just in case. Two of them came along to eat, but even if they both ate, it should have been enough to tame one. One of them walked away, and when that guy finished, he was my pet. He was super friendly. He let me come up and pet him right away, and then he slapped me with his nose. So, two pets down, one to go. Let's go deposit this guy back at home. And we'll make him a little fire helm as well. Let's go equip that. Here we go, he suits it very much. Let's go get ourselves a nut. So our spoiled meat slurry is ready. And just by the mysterious machine, there's usually two nuts flying around here. So I dropped five slurries there. And almost straight away, this guy came along to Take investigate. But he wasn't really eating. He was kind of buzzing around above the slurry. But then another guy came along who seemed much more interested. He was straight in and eating. And it didn't take long before this guy was my pet as well. And he was crazy friendly. He came right up to me. And he was carrying something in his mouth, which I couldn't grab or pick up. And he didn't let me pet him. And then I also checked his inventory to see if that thing in his mouth was in there. Uh, but it wasn't. And since then, he has never dropped it either. So I guess he lives with that in his mouth now. So back at home, let's make him a little fire helm as well. Let's go equip that and deposit him in his house as well. So they're not just cute and cuddly little friends. They also come with certain buffs. The aphid reduces stamina drain while sprinting. The gnat increases your gliding speed with a dandelion tuft and the weevil reduces thirst drain rate. Each pet is also given one of 101 different personalities. My aphid is sedulous, my weevil is folksy, and my gnat is audacious. So I think I was quite lucky because some of the personalities can be quite negative, like ignorant, obnoxious, anxious. So I think my three are quite good. Each pet also has 10 inventory slots, so if you're out and about with them and your backpack is full, they can carry 10 things for you. But be careful where you take them, because they will still be preyed on by their usual predators. That's why I equipped each of my pets with a little fire helm, because that provides the biggest defense. But if they do die, you'll get a little pet memorial to remember them by. To keep your pet happy, make sure you feed them, pet them, spend time with them. Because if you don't, you will notice a change in their behavior. So good luck taming your pets. I hope you get pets with very good personalities. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!